Hey, Cider Crusaders. So someone the other day tweeted out that California schools are going to implement the 1619 project. And our president tweeted this response. He said the Department of Education is going to be looking into this. Uh, if so, they will not be funded. I think the they is California schools. Uh, now, this is the same President Trump who last week signed an executive order that no more critical race theory seminars, these diversity, inclusion, equity seminars, can be taught at any federal agencies. And that's because of Christopher Rufo. Remember months ago, well, we've talked many times with Christopher Rufo, um, and he's awesome. He's at the Manhattan Institute, I think. And he's been on this mission to uncover and root out all this critical race theory seminar stuff that's being taught in our federal institutions. And it is entire, like he did all of this reporting, like true reporting, and the president uh, reacted uh, properly because of it. So congratulations to Christopher Rufo. Like, that is perfection. Uh, but on this specifically, 1619 Project, it was about a year ago, and we did a ton of time on this on my radio show. Uh, it would have been a little over a year ago because we didn't have the TV show yet. Uh, California wanted to implement an ethnic studies curriculum. In, in all of California schools. And it was, it was horrific. <laughs> and they tabled it for a year. That means that they wanted some more time to find a more sneaky way to implement it. Right? So they took out the things that were obviously inflammatory and bizarre, right? Like, like they changed the word history to herstory, right? Stuff like that, right? right? So they took all that stuff out there. Um, and they changed it to names that no one can really understand or sound less offensive. Just got an email the other day from someone who's uh, 11th grader is taking uh, an identity and agency class. Identity and agency? <laughs> what the heck is that? So a non-critical parent will just like blow by that. Like, oh, an identity and agency, okay, sure. And not really ask questions about what that really is. And that's just like, critical race theory, straight up social justice. It's just like the social justice math that we talked about a million times. So the very short of this, just to make sure we're on the same page, ethnic studies, identity and agency, 1619 project, critical race theory, all this stuff, teaches our kids that you are racist, that they're racist, that America's racist at our core, we're racist at our founding, and everything bad today is because America's a racist and horrible place. That's, that's the point. What do you think the fruit of that will be? <laughs> do, you think, do you think the result of that's going to be a generation of people who love this country? Or a generation of people who, would, who will do nothing but tear down statues and light buildings on fire and be aggrieved constantly? No one will ever defend what they don't understand. And it was bad enough in the past, last few decades, when kids graduate high school not knowing who George Washington is. But now it's worse than that. Now they know who he is, but they only know him as a terrible slave owner. And therefore, America is a terrible country. If the communists of China, and I, I don't, I'm not joking when I say this, if the communists of China wrote our curriculum of history class and, and our, just our school curriculum, they could not do any better than this. James Lindsay, who's obviously the guy who's been following all this perfectly, newdiscourses.com, uh, he shared this picture last week. He wrote, uh, this is critical race theory in a single image. So you see that the uh, themes on the left, and then all white people are racist, and then the classic, PayPal me, <laughs> give me money. And then you have uh, the woman teaching. Uh, so obviously the point here is that all white people are racist, but, and, and, and uh, well, well, actually, no, that's not the point I should say. When he released that, he was called racist. Right? Everyone's like, oh, how dare you? You're fat shaming and you're racist and you're blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay, fine. So he released video footage of the seminar. So here's this wonderful person. All white people are racist. So <laughs> I put this up because I really want any white person in the room to know up front that this is what we're dealing with, that it's not going to be this coddling of white tears and what that looks like. I'm going to discuss, oh, maybe some of us have worked it out. No, you're always going to be racist, actually. 
So even when you're on your path to trying to figure out how to be a better human being, um, because I believe that white people are born into not being human, like that actually instead of <laughs> people of color and black folks being dehumanized, that actually everyone is dehumanized off rip within white supremacy, that y'all are born into a life to not be human, and that's what y'all are taught to do, to be demons. So in this particular way, white people are all racist. So I just want y'all to know. It's even worse. <laughs> I don't know if you could catch some of that stuff at the end. Your brain was like, what? Uh, you're born into not being human. You're born into a life to not be human. Y'all are taught to be demons. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.